So g'day, welcome back to Evo's Model Bench. This episode, just gonna use the same formula as the last episode and the episode before that. So, um, be back after the introduction. Well, welcome back. So if you just look down to the model bench, we'll see a couple of things. We have the gun completed and primed, and we have the upper part of the turret completed, or up to this part anyway, and primed. Um, so we're gonna have a look at the instructions and see what comes next. I do have the instructions somewhere, I'm not sure where, Oh, here they are. They must have fallen off my chair. Alright, so what we're going to do today before work, just a quick one. Talking of work, this new job I'm applying for, imagine if I get it, imagine how many hats I could buy. I could buy a new hat every week. <laughs> well, wow. I've got no life. <laughs> Um, so we've completed parts uh, 30, uh, 29, sorry. We've also completed part 28. Obviously we just have to paint these bits, which is what I'll probably do now. Um, inside the turret in here is all gonna be white, which is XF2. I believe that's white. Don't yell at me. Yep, yeah, flat white. So they've all got to be flat white. The oops, legs of the uh, chair here. So this part here have to be flat white. Um, The, these parts have to be flat white. Not those parts. I probably won't do too much. You're not going to see the inside of the tank, but I'm going to do it properly. So I'm just going to get the flat white out and um, give that a spray. So I will uh, be back shortly. Okay, so welcome back. I have done the. Um, the spraying that I needed to. So the inside of the turret. Um, tell you what, airbrushing makes things look so bloody good. And then the uh, inside of the gun bit. So the whole inside's white by the look of it, apart from a few bits that are already hidden that I won't be able to put any colour on, which is a good thing, because I haven't done it. No, no I haven't. It's just all gone. I don't know how to do it. But yeah. Um, see, that that's the end of this morning's part of the build. I've got a few other things I need to do. But let me just have a quick look. Oh no, there's a few other little bits and pieces I have to do, so uh, just like touching up the um, the chair inside the, so touching up the chair, I need to do XF84, sorry, 85 in that one, and that's it. So I'll just do that now. I'll give it half hour for the paint to dry, and then XF85 is rubber black. So I'll do that once everything's done. So I'll talk to you again then. All right. Okay, so welcome back. Oh, I've just, my chair's in the way again, so I can't see. <laughs> um, oh God. So I've just done the, that nice shiny bit, rubber black. Um, for the chair. And now I'm just gonna go on to while everything else is drying, 
can't really do much. So I'm just going to build up the um, the stowage bins apart. So welcome back to Hippo's Model Bench for episode six. Um, got a message today from the from Australia Post saying, my package was ready to pick up from the post office. I'm expecting some books for law school about contract law. Sounds pretty boring and pretty dry. I'm pretty sure it will be. So I'd go there, but no, it's come in a box, a rather large box. I'm thinking these must be pretty big bloody books. Anyway, just go down to the Model Bench. Oh shit, what's this, what's this crusty old thing doing here? Get rid of that. And look what we've got. A brand new cutting bed uh, mat from Icky Sticky. So you got Icky Sticky there. And you've got Icky Sticky up the top there, in the top corner. So, I was pretty stoked. Actually, extremely stoked. But people, that's not all. No. As with Icky Sticky, it's never all. I got some size five slash zero, three slash zero, two slash zero, zero and one synthetic paintbrushes or detail paintbrushes. And I also have size two, three, four, five and six synthetic detail paintbrushes. I think that's pretty good, eh? But wait, I also have Size three slash zero, two slash zero, zero, one, and two. Langhau detail paint brushes. Also, size, size three, four, five, six, seven. Langhau detail paint brushes. And size three, four, and five millimeter. Synthetic flat paint brush set. So there we go, but also got some lollies. They had stickers on it, but I've taken the stickers off. So I'm gonna put them somewhere. So yeah, I've got some lollies and I love lollies. So whatever rascal, scallywag, rapscallion or people that are uh, responsible for this, I thank you. But I'm a little bit cranky. No, I'm not. Not at all. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it just means I'm going to be winning this competition a lot easier now. So I am going to um, find myself something nice to put these in, these paintbrushes. Um, 
Let's have a look at them. This one is actually the, uh, the packaging was broken. Not the actual bag when I got it. Have a look at it. It's got really nice little um, grip for your fingers. Brush, the tips feel absolutely amazing. Nice and soft, very pointy. So they're gonna be um, put to good use, I can tell you that much. So anyone who hasn't yet, do yourself in Australia this is, or international, do yourselves a favor. Go to www.ickysticky.com.au. Um, have a look at their product. Their, um, what, the, uh, the CA activator. Amazing stuff. You've got the um, CA debonder, which is coming very handy on my fingers. Uh, we also have the uh, thin, medium, and I've got the thick CA. Uh, I think I'll put the thick CA away. Um, so yeah, give all, give all these products a go. They are good quality Australian products. Um, when you place your order, put a little note in there, tell them Hibbo sent you. You might get an extra sticker, you might get an extra bag of lollies, or you might not get your order, depending if uh, Mr. Icky Sticky's forgiven me for <laughs> the shit I said the other week. So anyway, I'm just gonna put all this stuff away for the time being, um, and I will come back and we'll get stuck into this model. I'm gonna have leftover for dinner tonight on toast, so I'll um, see you all back here shortly. And again, Okay, so here we are back. We've got the first part done of that. So I've just put the, to make it look like a bit of a castle. So yeah, Peter wouldn't have thought of Paul at a castle, would he? No, only mm -hmm. us. Okay, so here's the next part finished. So all those bits, can't really see them, but so if you can see it, all those bits there are all done. Now we just have to do E25. So we need another one, two, three, four, five of those. So I'll cut those out. Okay, so let's try this. So as you can see, I've got my little man. And I'm stuck to a bit of sprue. So what I'm gonna to try to do is add some highlights and ensure that the, um, the recesses are kept black, so the shadows. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get it from this sort of angle. So pointing down from the top. So let's try. I'll be using uh, XF2 as well. Zoom in. Oh, so it looks fairly white at the top. If you have a look where all the creases go in the uh, in the uniform, it's quite dark. So I'm quite happy with that for a first time.
So now to prepare a glaze for his uniform and we'll see how that goes. We'll let that dry while I'm at work. And uh, yeah, we'll come. All right, so this stands up properly. All right, so here we go. Just to start with, oops, zoom out, Simon. So you can't really see it, but I think there's quite a bit of uh, goodness in that. Um, So once this all goes, I'll probably do another coat on the, uh, the car key. But so far it's looking pretty good. You can see um, you can see a bit of um, a few shadows in the uh, just in the uniform. It's good. But yeah, so I'll give it another coat in about 15 minutes and we'll see how it goes. So I'll come back once I've done that one and we'll see how it all ends up, eh? All right, talk to you all soon. All righty, so welcome back people. Just put a special update on the channel. So you need to have a look at it if you don't, you're a bit silly. So anyway, I forgot I had this full uh, color cup. So let's get into the painting of the German, well, German Panzer camp wagon. Hard to say when you're sober, let alone when you're half cut. Anyway, here we go. Watching Peter's video, I found out Monique was responsible for these uh, paint brushes and the new cutting mat. Monique, you're a very, very naughty person, but you're amazing. So thank you very much for that. Highly appreciated and really highly needed. So it's very, it's an honor to be associated with such an amazing company. So all my subscribers, Australia-wide and worldwide. Go give ickysticky.com.au a look. They've got an ever-expanding range of quality products. Yeah, so tell them, when you make an order, tell them who I sent you. Um, Monique might throw in an extra packet of lollies for you. So you just never know. This is a perfect size paintbrush for this. This is a zero. Um, just, oops, a bit too much there, that's all right. Take the 
the uh, And his holster as well, this is belt. Hope you all saw the standalone video I produced last night about the uh, competition I'm running. Get involved, people. Jason Peter can't win, so there won't be any talk of favouritism. Um, and it is available to be won worldwide. So get involved, keep an eye on my community section and uh, details, more well, further details will be up on that. But you do have to be a subscriber to win, that's the only stipulation. delicate work this figure painting so Jeff Booth if you're watching man I've got a lot more respect for you now but for a first effort that's pretty bloody good um, hopefully you'll be able to see it is the holster's painted, you can't really see the belt at the front, but his belt's painted, I suppose you can, but the uniform looks pretty good too. So just put that up for a set, put this away, clean this brush, and um, I'll be back in a minute. So guys, so welcome back, just going to do his uh, boots, they're always going to be black. I'll scuff them up a little bit with some uh, dust or something. Done. Put him back for a minute. I'm looking forward to doing his head actually. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we've put on all the bits on the side, so the, all the tools, the uh, wire cutters. Uh, we've put on the uh, 50 caliber gun at the front, the um, crank uh, crank handle, the axe, got the shovel, got another crowbar. Um, obviously got the the stickers on it now. It's actually turned out really well for a first tank build. Um, I'm gonna put a bit of weathering on it. So I've got the, uh, the Tamiya Weathering Master. Um, 
to try to find a good YouTube channel for see how to use that. But I have put a little bit on the uh, on the muffler here. Not that you can really see it. Oh, you can. It's a little bit lighter. But yeah, so the next video will be all about the uh, the blokes, the soldiers, and um, yeah, that will be it. So Peter reckons he was uh, winning, but he's not. So anyway, if you haven't done track uh, track yet. So anyway, again, thank you for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. You know what to do if you have. And if you haven't, you know what to do. But in any case, please leave comments. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. See ya.